My name is Robert Ranitzky and I work as a freelance motion graphics designer in Munich, Germany. How did I get started with motion graphics and design? I, I always drew with, with pen and paper, um, so I kind of, I always wanted to be creative. I drew comics and everything and when I was studying design, I was studying graphic design, um, I, I, of course you also had web design. Oh, web design is interesting. Oh, there's keyframes, there's sound, and oh, there's animation. Oh, web design is boring. Let's move to animation. So it kind of transitioned over from, from traditional design to, to motion graphics because it's kind of like culminating all the different areas in from drawing to, to editing to, to photography, composition, colors, everything. That's, that's, what I, that's what I love. I try to relate to what the audience expects or wants to see. Okay, if I would be the customer, what, what would make me want to maybe buy this product or, or be interested in this product or in this film or whatever it is I'm trying to communicate? To foresee that or to kind of dive into that and say like, okay, so we need to um, add typography to this or we need to add sound to this or make, make it look photoreal. Um, understanding these type of things, this is for commercial work, obviously. Um, and, and I love that, and maybe clients know that, and that's maybe what they like to, why they like to work with me. Also because I had typography and I have an eye for composition and how, how things just look nice and communicate the idea of what the product is about. The way, the way I try to improve my, my skills and, and what I can do is, of course, Work, practice, practice what you do. Um, never settle. Just, just be humble and, and always. I always strive and, and look for for things that inspire me. You know, I just I just saw the the reel from from Nick from Territory. Or if you see other reels from other fantastic artists, and you go like, man, I want to do that. That's so nice. And and I think that is that is something that that is deep in in a lot of creatives, and, and that keeps you going. And try to to look into more of. Um, bigger picture things, you know what I mean? Like kind of what type of film or medium can be created to communicate something. Could be, I don't know, a 360 video, it could be something that is not animated at all, but maybe live or I don't know, you know, stuff, stuff like that, like bigger grand scheme of things. For everyone that is starting out with After Effects or motion graphics in general, the advice that I could give is learn the basics. And, and that is not the basics of after Effects or the tool that you're using, it's the basics of design. It's about how, how things work. You have to understand a camera, you have to know what aperture is, what shutter speeds are, what ISO means. Um, I always say that you have to understand what you try to replicate. You need to know why there's chromatic aberration, why there's blur, why there's lens flares. Not just add it because it's cool, because everyone is adding it. Understand why it is in reality and then you can learn a program, because everyone can learn a program, but learn the basics, you know, composition, design, typography, stuff like that. I would say don't be afraid to fail. Um, don't be afraid to show your work to, to others, internet, co-workers, accept criticism. Uh, you, can, you can grow on that if it's, if it's proper critique and, and, and something that is founded in, uh, from someone who knows what he's talking about. And, uh, and then you just take it from there and then uh, always keep loving what you do.